April, thank you. A mother is facing charges this morning after she allegedly left her two children in a hot car and then attacked the people who rescued them. Yeah, it all played out over the weekend in the 2500 block of Williams Boulevard in Kenner. And Paul Dudley is joining us more on what happened with this story. Sheba Leslie, well, luckily those two children, one age three, the other one just 11 months old are okay. But according to police, the children had been in the car for more than an hour and temperatures were in the 90s. Kenner PD says 22-year-old Shanice Sherman left her children in the car and then went into the CSL plasma Sunday afternoon, presumably to donate blood. Now, according to police, that's when a good Samaritan in the strip mall noticed the children inside and called 911. The caller and others were able to remove the children from the car before officers arrived. The mother got back to her car before officers got there and started yelling at the 911 caller and other witnesses when she learned they called police. The Samaritan was able to talk to the uh, three-year-old and convince him to unlock the door. She engaged in a verbal confrontation, which escalated into a fistic encounter. Uh, she struck the uh, Good Samaritan. And when officers arrived on scene, they arrested Sherman for child des desertion and simple battery. Both children were treated by EMS at the scene and released into the care of a family member. Now, coming up at 6, we're going to take a look at some laws in Louisiana on leaving your children unattended in cars. We'll also take a look at how hot it actually gets inside these cars, especially in this hot, hot heat. And it gets so hot, so we're glad that the children are okay, yeah. despite Absolutely. what else happened in yeah, this Yeah, and those good Samaritans. Yeah, could, certainly could for stepping up. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Paul. So far in 2018, there have been at least 30 confirmed hot car deaths nationwide, and on average, 37 kids die from vehicular heat strokes every year. Louisiana is actually ranked seven in the nation for hot car deaths. Between 1993 and 2017, there have been 31 reported child vehicular heat stroke deaths, and it's often because people underestimate how dangerous situations can become even in temperate weather in 70 degree weather in just 10 minutes, 10 minutes inside the car. That's 89 degrees. So by 30 minutes, it's 104 degrees inside the car. And now we're seeing temperatures in the 90s. So in 10 minutes, it can be as hot as 106 degrees. And in 30 minutes, that jumps to about 124 degrees inside of a car. Well, now Louisiana has recently enacted a new law that protects Good Samaritans who resort to busting out windows of parked cars to save a child or an animal during periods of extreme heat. That law only applies to cats, dogs and children. Now, according to this act, if the vehicle is off and locked and you believe that an animal is in imminent danger, you can follow these steps. Once you determine that the owner is nowhere in sight, the first thing you need to do is call authorities or locate your local animal control. If you can break the window and free the dog, then you do have to leave a note with your contact information, why you broke into the car, and say that you've contacted local authorities. And then lastly, you do need to take that animal out and sit with it somewhere safe until help arrives.